How's it going, everyone? So I have this hooked up. Okay, I'll go over the system here. Uh, this is the regular unit, compact unit. I have another primary like this on the bottom. Uh, this is a 16 foot primary. So the device does not work the same with the ZVS. This is just a little five volt ZVS running off of a 12 volt battery, well, two six volts, but they are weak. So there's much less than 12 volts. Um, the output of the device comes here. I have my oscilloscope across it. I have a light bulb across it. I have a bridge rectifier across it. And I have a big capacitor across it. There's another light bulb on here to empty the capacitor. So this does not function the same as on here. And there's a variance in the frequency. There's a slight difference in the frequency. There's a slight difference in the wave. And it does not perform the same. However, I will show you what it does. It does perform, just not near like the induction cooker. Now, I'm only putting a few tiny watts in here, and we're only using some tiny batteries. But uh, I have the uh, voltmeter hooked up on the capacitor, so you can get the, the DC voltage, and we have a, a 120 volt. 100 watt light bulb on there. I'll hook it up. You can see that the, the ZVS has come on. The light bulb is lit. It certainly isn't full brightness, but it is lit. Um, it's being rectified, put in the cap. We have 51 volts in the cap. You can see that this bulb lights as well, somewhat. So, and we're down to 34 volts in the cap under load. Take the load off, 50 volts. Um, we can disconnect this output load. And you can see that the device actually puts out about 61, 63 volts, somewhere in there. Hook up the DC load, you can see it's lit. It's running at about 49 volts DC. So we are getting results, we're just not getting the results I want. <laughs> but a lot of that is due to this tiny little board, um, a tiny amount of batteries being supplied, and it's not in resonance. This ring is not in resonance with the fundamental operating frequency of the driver, which I do have this on the oscilloscope as well. And you can see we're on uh, 10 times on my probe, and I'm on 20 volts of division. Um, I don't know if I can tune it up much better or not. There's the wave that we're getting out of that with the DC cap and the load. And uh, we'll take the load off here. So we're going back up to the 60 volts DC. You can see the wave has changed. I can't imagine I'll tune it in very easily. Okay, there's the wave there. I'll put the load on it. The wave changed big time. And that's a DC load, so it's certainly putting out enough DC power, 48 volts DC. At, uh, at this capacitor, this is a large capacitor, it's a 250 volt, um, what is it, it's on there somewhere, 6,000 uh, 6, 6, microfarads, so we have a lot of power there, but um, not enough voltage to get exactly what I want out of it. But at this point, with this device the way it is, an arrangement could be made to make a self-running device. Certainly not with full 120 volt output the way it's configured, but definitely to the point that it is powering and self-running uh, very easily. Um, we 
can go along and recharge this, take this back into a lower voltage source to feed it back into the, the ZVS. But uh, there's two loads lit from the, the compact unit with the, the smallest ZVS you can buy that I'm aware of. And um, I've got an AC load here at 45 volts DC in the cap and a DC load here. And here's the wave. We can see if we can adjust that a little more. There we go. You can see it's actually a, a resonant w ringing wave there. So we're getting there, but uh, it's a slow process. All right, guys, I just thought I would show you uh, the very first experiments with the portable device on a battery powered system, giving some output. Not exactly what we want, but certainly what we're getting. Ciao.